ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Last time we were finishing up the harvest, and we're still finishing up the harvest. Uh, we got like one or two more passes left, and this thing is done and over with. And then we'll have to collect the straw and sell it. But first we're going to put all this stuff away, and then we'll finish doing the straw. Unfortunately, the straw prices are dropping. So we should be able to make back some money, but I don't... I mean, to get back up to where we were, we're probably not going to make it on this harvest. But the nice thing is, over time, we will recover that. Uh, and it's going to save us a lot of time driving back and forth to the red barn. I wish we could just relocate the red barn onto this plot of land, but... What are you going to do? That's what the designer decided, and that's where we're at. <laughs> Whoa. So we're going to finish this up and uh, get all this put away. And then we'll go ahead and start our sell process where we go through the farm and sell out all the crops that we have right now. We have a lot of stuff in storage. We're just going to get rid of it. Uh, and then we'll uh, come back and, and uh, see what kind of money we have. I'd like to buy another field if possible. This field will yield, like I said, maybe twenty or $30,000. I'm guessing about twenty, but maybe thirty. But it would be nice to have two large fields. That way we can bring in about 60000 bucks a harvest. Uh, after a couple harvests, we'll be able to start buying some animals, or aminals, and uh, start growing the farm that way. Uh, we do have the mowing equipment and a lot of grassy area where we can um, get out there and produce food for them. Plus, we have, you know, we have these fields we can make straw, obviously. Um, in fact, I might fill up the straw bins for both the pig food... In fact, we might even say take some of this grain and feed it to the pigs. Uh, like, we'll start filling up those hoppers um, with one load. Because I think one load probably will be enough to fill each of those things up. So, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a load of straw over there, and we'll do a load of uh, this uh, rye. I think, we can feed, I think we can feed rye to the uh, pigs. I think it's probably... Well, the, you know, you use one of each type of grain, so... Uh, to make the pig food, and then, you know, so we'll be good to, on that end, and we'll do some straw. So we'll do all of that today, uh, and more, obviously. It's still the first day, uh, but we're going to go by episodes. I'm not going to go by days. I get too lost when it, we try to go by days, so we're just going to stick with episodes and call it episode two. Uh, and I won't even remember. Eventually, it'll just be episode whatever. So I don't really mind the New Holland header. I'm still... Um, glad that, that at least that works fairly well and that you know the harvester itself looks great so the fact that we have to use an off-brand header i'm not too still it still doesn't it bothers me a little bit but it doesn't bother me like a ton so i'll get over it i will i might buy another one these tractors are pretty cheap uh because they're used i may buy a second one of these uh with just a double wheel or single wheels maybe wheel weights or something um to get the rest of that out of there Load it off. There we go. All right, it's empty. So let's go ahead and dump this off. Um, we're going to grab more and then run it over to the pig food maker. And then the rest of it will go into our bins. But we might as well. We have a decent amount of money already. So I don't really... I'm not, like, strapped for cash right now. We don't really have anything that we need to buy, though I would like to get a bigger tipper um, so that we don't have to go back and forth to the sale points. But whatever. I mean, this thing's pretty large. We have a smaller tipper. Actually, we could probably maybe trade both of these in and get enough for a, a decent sized tipper like one big one because i don't know why i would need a smaller tipper aside from maybe feeding the pigs like maybe that'll be easier to maneuver in there i i don't know we'll see how hard this one is if, if we can maybe we'll just get the larger size of this one the joskin so we're gonna this time we're gonna pull up here and we're gonna go boop and fill up this whole hopper with barley and put whatever we can in to our um There we go. So it's nice and full. This one holds 31,000, which is funny because I think that's the exact same capacity as our Bergman uh, pickup wagon. <laughs> so they hold the same. Boy, you keep, you know, as you run the farm, you keep realizing you need this, you need that. Another thing that we're going to quote unquote need is um, we will at some point, let's see, need a, uh, a gas truck like a, a gas trailer for our tractors because you know already i'm used up a, a bit of a tank on this one we haven't even done any heavy work yet so plus 
let's uh, let's see how this goes. Oh wait, no, that's not where I'm going. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Almost made a fatal error. Yeah, this tractor's having a real hard time pulling this big trailer. We might have to... Around the farm, it's fine, but on the road, that's going to be a problem. I need to put my cruise control back up. This is a huge trailer. I mean, even the other tractor's going to have some issues. But let's see if... Whoa! Bumpy road. Let's see if we can make it up here and fit through the fence. Yeah, we'll make it. Cool. Alright, so there's our feeders. Oh my gosh. This thing's really struggling. And this is the biggest motor. This one I think has 220 horsepower. That's the biggest motor I could shove in here. So... Maybe at some point the 6,000 will be needed. Get a 250 horsepower engine in there. Alright, so let's see. We're going to see how this one fits up here. If it fits well, like I said, we can get the larger, the higher topped Joskin. Now what is that? Oh, I bet you that's storage for your pig food and stuff. Looks like something down there. So let's see if we can get that in there. I wonder how much this will take. Yep, it's taking it. So let's see. We'll say. Hmm. It's not dumping. So it says we can dump, but it won't dump. I don't want to do a force dump. It won't do it. So how about, let's take a look. Barley and wheat. Potato, sugar beet. Corn and soybean. Bummer. Okay, so nope. So no. That's a no on that. <laughs> well, I'm glad we tried it out at least. But we're just going to sell this load then. Uh, so we might as well f do it now, you think? What should we do? Let's see. I mean, I guess we could go ahead and sell this. Oh my gosh, it's killing this tractor. Well, let's take a look on the map and see what we got. Um, we've got a load of rye. Actually, rye's got higher prices than wheat and barley right now, so... We're at Iceman Grain is at 941. Cell point does not accept it, right? Let me see. Cell point. Where did cell point go? Cell point. Nope. So we need to go to Iceman Grain. As prices are dropping, Wortman also has a decent price if we run out at, at Iceman. So where is Night Iceman Grain? Iceman. So he's directly behind us. Is there a road that goes there? It looks like there is. So let's let's try to see if we can navigate along that road there and. Make a U-turn here. Once again, I don't think you'd see a double-wheeled tractor doing this. Um, I'm maybe, but probably not. I think they're really meant for field work. So I'm doing a naughty thing by doing this, but <laughs> we'll switch them around in a bit. This is the way we need to go. Where's that road? Uh, I guess we have to climb up this and call it false, fake, silly. See all that grass that we have there? We can mow all that for for grass for our animals, so we should be fine. I don't think we need to even really plant any fields with grass. Um, so that's good that we have that huge pasture right there. And this road should take us right over to Iceman. So we're okay on these back roads with this trailer. That's not too bad. Look at the size of that meadow. That's huge. So yeah, that's we got plenty of grass to work with for our cows and sheep and all that stuff. We should have no problem getting them the food that they need. We will have to make some of it into silage. Sorry. 
Yeah, that's, that's good silage, not bad silage. Not cheat silage. And since we have the the loading station, we don't really need to buy any. Uh, in fact, I don't even. Well, yeah, we do have to make silage. We don't need any bailing. Okay, so where is this? It. Yeah, this looks like it, huh? The map's not moving any further over. So here we go. That wasn't too bad. It's just straight down the the hill. And we don't go on any roads, so this is okay that we're taking the double wheel tractor back here. We haven't violated any laws. Let's go ahead and sell this bad boy. Ah, they pay pretty good. Let's see, if it's a 31,000, we should make about 30,000 bucks, right? So, because they're right about a, just under 1,000, so we just under 30,000 bucks. 29,185. Perfect. And we got two or three more trailer loads, so we should be sailing here pretty soon. That's nice. Paradise. Okay, so the way you probably should go is down there, right like that, and then back to the farm, but I'm going to just go this way because. That keeps us off the road. We could go across our field, though, too, but... Maybe the author will be kind enough to put another little road in there. <laughs> uh, but he did a really nice job. Like I said, this map is... Like I said, it does feel... I don't know, maybe like Kentucky. The mountains are just a little too big for... Like, man, I don't know. I mean, I've never lived in... Or been through, like, the Appalachians. I guess the Smoky Mountains would kind of be like this. But uh, this does kind of have a little bit of a Kentucky-ish feel, so. Wow, it's 8 o'clock already. Man, where does the time go? <sighs> I don't think I have anything on the calendar tomorrow, though, so there's no rush to end. Yeah, I wish there was just a hop up here, but this is going to be how we're doing it. In real life, this would probably be not a good idea with this big tipper. Oh, boy. How'd it go, Snack? Where's your phone? Why? Right here. I'm Why? Boy, it's smelling like gas. Like, way more. Did you already go and come back? Yeah. Okay. Well, that sucks. Boy, it's starting to smell like gas, which is not a good sign. No, it's not. Could be. Or it could just be a rusty gas tank. <laughs> Roy, Ryan's car, is smelling like gas. Anyone want to buy it? <laughs> Get rid of that thing. <laughs> now I'm gonna keep going with the rye sales here because the price is dropping. So I'm gonna try to keep it. See if we can just keep selling it as fast as we can because it'll go down slowly at first, but then it'll after 10 minutes it'll drop like drastically. So we want to get as much sold as possible. In fact, I'm probably gonna switch out tractors here to get our more our roadworthy tractor and take it that route instead of back here. This is kind of out of the way. Okay. Yeah, it is a great car, Ryan. CV boot. Yep. Yeah, 180,000 miles is probably a good time to change your struts out. <laughs> Call us down when dinner's ready, dude. Oh. Oh. I thought most cars had both. Okay. They had either one or the other. Okay. 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 All right. All right, and then you need to cook, please. He cooked bacon like an hour ago, and yeah, Seth, go help him. Yep, I'll be right back, folks. All right, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I just cut out at 14 minutes. We're going to try to keep these episodes to about a half an hour. Um, but I know I've been doing 45 minutes on my other series, but I, I think I'm going to shorten them up just a hair because a lot of people are telling me that they can't watch the whole video. If they come in, they see it's an hour video, and they're like, nah, I'm not going to watch it. So I, I want to try to get you guys a little bit shorter videos. Just watch two of them. <laughs> and I can release more often because that way, you know, if I have more content in short, shorter content, I can release more often. But it seems like the average video out there is about a half an hour. So I want to. We'll go with the sitcom 
length episodes. See, this tractor is faster, too. I don't know when the thing's full if it'll be able to pull it faster, but we should be able to get some additional speed going. We'll turn our little beacons on, get some slow frame rates through here. What's going on, bud? All right, so we're going to sell some rye. Oat. Oh, it's oats that we had, not rye. Sorry, my bad. Oh, no. So wait a minute. So we took to the snow. I, I went by the symbol. So we're still at 906. So we're still doing okay. It is down about $10 or $15 per per ton or per metric liter ton, whatever. I know. Someone's going to yell at me like, well, no, it's liters. I know. I know. Per liter. Or per 100, 100 liters, I think. Or 1,000 liters. I think it's per 1,000 liters. So let's get over there. And by the way, this tractor has Michelin tires, which is pretty cool. I believe. So let's get this done. Get this done as fast as possible. We're road road warriors. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to sell one more load, then I'll stop taking you with me, I promise. That way I don't burn up your episode time. Like, why? You know, I have to watch the whole episode of him driving around in this tractor. <laughs> These look like California mountains. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe you could pretend like this is in like, the San Joaquin Valley or something. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it speedy. So let's see how much we lost. It probably won't be much, honestly. All right, so here we are at the cell. Yeah, this tractor does fine with that trailer. It's it's uh Now if we go a size up, we may start having problems with the bigger trailer, but I don't I don't know. I think we're just going to stick with this size trailer right now. I'll probably keep that other tipper too and we'll just as we need it, we'll use it. Probably make more sense to use that to deliver stuff to the feeders. Though I think those feeders take quite a bit of food. All right, so let's sell this. Oh, my stop and go is off. No wonder I'm having a hard time. I keep overshooting stuff, and I'm like, what the heck? My stop and, my stop and go is screwed up. We're not going to find out how much we made. Shoot, sorry, guys. The whole point of me keeping you was to do that, and I blew it. Where is that menu? I probably looked right past it because I'm in a hurry now. All right. Um, stop and go breaking off. There we go. Uh, no, 28000 So we lost about $1,000 off that trailer load, and that's just how it's going to be. So I'll be back, guys. See you in a minute. I'm going to finish build, selling this stuff, and then we'll go from there. All right, for our last load, we're going to run over to Wortman Grain. So I'll keep you guys there because we haven't been there yet. Um, looks like Wortman's like, where on earth? How do we even get there? Looks like we're going to go down the same road that we did before, so we'll keep the GPS up. But this time we're going to go off the opposite direction. And there looks like some kind of road or something that might go there. So we've dropped the price at the other place too low. So it's not it's now it's time to go somewhere else. So we'll see where we're going. We're flying along this road. Slow it down a little bit. So we get to the bumpy section. Boing. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Okay, so that's showing the ridge. And we want to take this road to the right. Is there a road? There's a road over there. Okay. Looks like we go around. Oops. Don't hit those bumps. Oh, jumping around. All right, I'm going to get over there. I guess eh, we'll see it. I mean, it looks like it's the same as the way we just went, just the opposite opposite day. Just kind of watching on the map. So once we get... Wow, it's like, I don't know. Whoa. Um, there's a road there. Well, let's just see what this... This looks like it's going to lead over to the other side. So we'll shoot across here. Whoa. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty bumpy road, though, but it's cool. I like it. <laughs> Going pretty fast for these bumps. Probably, in real life, you'd probably break your tractor doing this. 
A little rough on the tractor. Alright, so we're going to take this road south. Come along these fields here. Hopefully some of these smaller fields will be able to buy them. Hopefully maybe like 12. Oh, we own field number 33, too. I didn't see that before. Oh, and 31. What? Oh, and 26. Wait a minute. <laughs> we are not anywhere near done, so we got a big harvest to do. No wonder we needed these big machines and so many of them. Um, so we'll have to take a look and see what's on those fields when we're done selling this. Oh, that's cool. So we don't need to buy fields right away. We can actually maybe go right to animals. I wish the fields were closer together. That's kind of nutty that they're all over the place like that. But Okay. Bumps. And there's our destination straight ahead. That's Workman Grain and Jim Manure. I bet you these are named after his friends. That's pretty cool. Big Hoss, you did good. You done good, Big Hoss. Hoss the boss. Alright, so let's sell this crap. And uh, then we'll get finding out. Jeez, I had no idea. I was a, I'm a rich man. We're going to have a lot of money when we're done with this. Hopefully they're not all planted with with uh, oats. <laughs> Alright, so let's dump this you-know-what off here. Alright, that's much better. I'm not swinging back and forth now. <laughs> Alright, while that's dumping, let's go ahead and take a look at our um, fields. So, we've got... We own number 31. That is going to be soybean. Cool. Number 1 was oat. Number 33 is not planted. Um, number 28 is wheat. Or 26 is wheat, maybe. Or corn. Hopefully it's wheat and not corn. I think it, I'm thinking 28 is corn, 26 is wheat. So we have two more fields to harvest. Um, so let's get that done. Um, oh, man, we're going to have a ton of money when we're done. Sweet. All right, love, let's do it. I'm going to hop back to the farm. I'll see you in just a minute. So we got 27 from that sale. Uh, now, So we're out of, uh, oops, what did I do? I'm lost. Uh, so anyway, I, we are going to, um, I just warped back, sorry. Um, I think we're done selling for now. We have some crops of the other types, and we'll end up selling those. But let's go ahead and let's try to put some of that feed into the, the I just want to see how those mixers work and how much food we're going to need to fill in there. Um, so let's see. We got. I think we have wheat. It probably will take the whole trailer load, honestly. If I remember right, those things fill up a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, but we want to start making food. We're going to make a whole batch of food for both cows and pigs, and then we'll start buying pigs and cows. But first of all, we're going to stop in here and load up. We're not going to do any more oats. Um, so we have wheat and barley. We could put both wheat and barley in. We have canola, sunflowers, soybeans, so corn... Um, I think for the pigs, though, we're missing we're missing the 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 f uh, what do you call them uh, sugar beets and stuff. So we probably should try to plant some of those maybe, and then rent a harvester wheat. So we'll put our wheat and barley up in the feeder. We'll fill it up with that stuff, and we'll also start making silage later. Um, Man, Mark sounds really sick. I feel bad for him. He was at his uh, Air Force base this weekend, and uh, he's just sounding like crap. Like, like... <coughs> <coughs> he came home sick as a dog. Poor buddy. This tractor's going to get a lot of use. We're probably going to need to buy a second one of these. I think we need these higher horsepower tractors for the size fields that we have. So I can see getting a second a second 7R for our farm. I was going to get a 6 series, but I think that's going to be too small, honestly. Oh, there's lots of grass up here, too. He got himself dessert and he got himself a whole big bag of bugles. Who, Ryan did? Yeah. Tell him to bring me some. He won't let you have some. I'll bet you. Tell him to save me some. I bet you he will. Tell him Dad wants some. It's my money that he spent, not his. <laughs> so we should be able to dump this in here. I'm hoping. We'll find out. In a second. In just a second. 
Let's see how much this takes. Yep, there it goes. It's dumping. All of it. Oh my gosh. Now, there's no pipe on this one, I don't think, that shows us how full it is. So, I don't know when it's full. Like, it doesn't really... I don't know the capacity. Is there any kind of readout or anything that tells us? Let's see. Automatic fill PF. What does that mean? Oh, we're 19, 19%. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's PF is pig food. Uh, so that is going to just take a ton of stuff. But I suppose, I don't know. I mean, we'll... <laughs> We'll make it a little bit, huh? Yeah, I know. Um, so we'll we'll uh, we'll let it sit for now. But that's we'll fill up all of the bins, and then we'll have to make some potatoes. So it's gonna be a while before we can do all that. We're gonna have to. That's a goal. Once again, the animals always seem to be a goal in this game that I never quite reach. <laughs> but this time, we're gonna reach that goal. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess finish up this field and move on to the next. Um, I mean, I guess I could dump everything into there. We have about 20% when we're done, but... And I don't... I, yeah, like I said, I don't really have to have the money. I'd like to have the money, but I don't have to have it. Oh, there's a chicken right there. Oh, they're all over. <laughs> there's an egg. So I have to collect eggs, too. Um, all right, so let's see here. I need to be more directed. Uh, yeah. So what am I doing? I think I'm going to... Mm, What did I say we had? We have so soybean uh, and wheat. So we could dump the soybean and wheat, and then whatever we have left over we could sell, because um, we're going to fill those up. Um, so we need to go to our next field and then bring this tractor back. So we're going to run over to field number uh, whatever the soybean field is. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm being silly. No, I think we do need to fill those up because I think that's going to make it'll make us being able to get pigs a lot faster if we have food for them. So, and we definitely have everything we need for cows. Like I said, now sure, sure the cows already have 100% grass. So, what do you do with that? You know. But I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, this reminds me of the uh, that North whatever North Frashish Marsh a lot. Because of the size of the fields. Well, I'm glad they gave us more fields. That's really cool. So we're just going to save some money and for the time being we should have everything we had or everything we need. About what, Mark? The nice thing is, I, I can be Maximus today. I'm going to be called, you know, Captain, uh, Captain Jack Aubrey. <laughs> Captain Jack Aubrey. Aubrey. Russell Crowe. How you feel? How you feel? You still feel oh, sick? I feel like crap. You sound like crap. Do you have to work tomorrow? It's a good thing I've smoked all those cigarettes. <laughs> do you have to work tomorrow, buddy? No, unfortunately, yeah. I guess I don't think I do either. I have to take Olivia to her lessons, though. Uh, Tim's daughter. Well, soon-to-be daughter. That does sound fair, Seth. Everything I say is fair. I'm fair and balanced, like Fox News. <laughs> I'm fairly balanced. Um to the Republican side. <laughs> they're, so, they're so biased, though. <laughs> oh. Huh? We were talking on base about how ridiculous all this stuff is. I know. The accusations. I apologize for ruining your podcast. Yes, you're sounding terrible, Mark. That's okay. We're almost out of time. So we'll get set up for the harvest, and then we'll the next episode we'll work on this field. My gosh, Mark, you sound terrible. He sounds like he's going to die. 
Yeah, I could definitely see buying one more of those smaller tractors um, for shunting things around. In fact, I might just do that because they're only thirty thousand bucks. They're they're used and they're old, so uh, we could buy a, a used old John Deere tractor for thirty thousand bucks and have a shunter to do work outside of the farm. All right, so let's go here. I should be able to get this to the field by myself without having to shunt, though. But, oh, no, you know what? Because of the length of this header, it doesn't quite work right. So, actually, no, we are going to need a second tractor to pull it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And we'll run this up, and then we'll walk over to the store and get another tractor. I could try to use the pickup truck, but it'll never be able to do it. <laughs> and we'll rent, I'm not going to buy a cedar, but we'll rent a, uh, a, a sugar beet cedar. And we'll just store a whole bunch of sugar beets by the pig stuff. Though I think that thing will eat them all. I put our hazards on too while we're driving down the road, as they do in real life. So we have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Uh, so anyway, we're going to get set up here. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we will continue on in just a moment. Well, it might be another day for you, but we'll have lots of episodes to watch. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series, and I will see you on the farm. <laughs>